Good morning. This is Dr. Sue from Purely Pediatrics. I would like to talk to you this week about something called nursemaid's elbow. If you have a child that has experienced this, then you know all about it. But if you don't, this is an entity named for nursemaids in history that used to have to carry very heavy pails of milk and water into their community from sometimes miles away, and they would injure their elbows. So what this is, is you can see this during times where, you know, say um, parents like to hold their children by their hands, they like to swing them. You know, when we're walking, little ones can be so little when they start to walk that we bend uh, bend down and, and grab their hand, help them walk one or two hands held, and generally kind of pulling them up a bit by their arms because they are so short. So what this can present as is little ones that just start to cry all of a sudden when there's a mechanism of injury that involves a pull or a tug at the, generally the hand or the wrist. Um, it's generally one-sided, but you know, you can get this by swinging your little one with two hands uh, as well. So the child will start to cry and you'll you'll see that they'll kind of hold their hand, their arm, the affected arm, straight down and the palm is kind of facing the back, the posterior part of the body. You generally won't see swelling, you won't see redness, but you will have a little one that is quite uncomfortable and it's pretty scary for families to be totally honest with you. Sometimes it's unwitnessed. We don't always know um, what little ones do when we're our backs are turned even for a second you can get this by um, running jumping holding on cushions you you can you know sometimes it just happens spontaneously to be honest I've had stories uh, where families say that the little ones are sitting in the car seat and all of a sudden they start to cry and they hold their arm so this is the mechanism of nursemaid's elbow when you come in to see us or you talk to your pediatrician about this, it can be very hard to determine whether this is a, a true fracture, a sprain, or a nursemaid's elbow. Generally, you see it occur in children only up until the age of five. Usually after the age of five, we don't suspect nursemaid's elbow as often unless there's a strong history. Children usually grow out of this by age five or six and sometimes even younger which is great news and the reason it occurs is because their ligaments are very loose when we're little ones and sometimes little ones have looser ligaments than others so there may even be a, a history of parents having such a thing but um, it can uh, be a bit of a challenge for us to figure it out and in the next video that I'm going to provide for you this week. I'm going to talk to you about some of the ways that we can manage this. It's pretty interesting. It's also very rewarding when we're able to diagnose it and treat it all within the same time period. So, so what I'd like to do is just make sure you avoid as much as possible any kinds of tugging um, or you know just kind of swinging your little ones by the hands as we often love to do and poor dads really get in trouble with this because they really like that rougher play um, so oftentimes they'll come in and the, and the, the dads will be devastated um, but anyway uh, what I want you to do is kind of remember nursemaid's elbow can affect children from uh, zero to five years old try to discourage any kinds of uh, arm tugging um, things like that up into to that age if you can and next time, I'm going to talk to you about how I manage it. All right, guys. Have a great day.